we registered in 2019 and uh, in total we were able to register investments that are worth uh, 2.4 billion in US dollars and um, this was mainly an excellent news for us because last year we registered investment that we are worth 2.1 one. So we are really talking about an increase of about 22%. And uh, it's really beyond investments because uh, when these investments are registered, um, uh, when they start getting implemented, they also create jobs for Rwandans. Our target is really to keep serving the region. Our target is to keep um, having access to more than 140 million market that is around us and then also have infrastructure that will be helping the private sector to be able to tap or to take advantage of those consumers and that market that is around us. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. Business to call an easy way. Twelve to the import to be in Runak. We know about the system in your area about logistics in even busy in doing the canes. So now go on here. You call business that from these hours we all go zero zero fatan as it are fashion. Yeah, you can be teachers. So this is another business model. Rwanda has got uh, uh, has got excellent infrastructure, and Rwanda's uh, investment policies are uh, uh, investor friendly. Uh, the government uh, is uh, is is uh, really helpful, very efficient, and uh, they give results. Uh, we, as an investor, we feel that our investment is uh, safe and secured uh, in Rwanda. Uh, one of our main challenges, what we have noticed so far, is the cargo is not flowing as much as it should have been, but the trend looks very positive. And uh, another challenge, uh, especially because this is a dry port, is a new concept for the region. Uh, we find that uh, uh, the presence of many um, uh, cargo gateways uh, scattered all over the country 
uh, is a challenge to our business. Our plans is to create the largest footprint of uh, a logistics hub in Rwanda with its expansion into phase two would amount to or would equal to 50 hectares which is largest of this kind of facility in, in Africa. We want to bring in automation because DP World promotes innovations, technology.